Hi guys, Jeff Clark, Sources Apprentice. I went to an estate sale over the weekend. Yeah, I know today's Wednesday, but it's been raining all week, so I haven't shot my video until today. I got some really cool stuff. I've got a lesson to teach you about relationship, and I'm going to tell you a lie, because relationship. Stick around and find out what I mean. So, uh, in the group, we've been talking recently about CRT TVs, that's cathode ray tube, that's before the advent of flat screens. Um, these sell really well on eBay because gamers like them for the vintage uh, video graphics that they provide. So, um, I, as you guys have heard me say, I like to go to estate sales on the last day because prices are marked down, and this one was 50% uh, marked down because it's the last day. So I spent $2.50. And uh, recent solds on this TV, uh, pretty or not the exact same model, but one similar, uh, $35 plus shipping. Got a couple typewriters. This one did not look really well. It didn't have good sold listings on it, but I'm pretty sure I can sell it for $20. Got it for $10. Um, $20 plus shipping, that is. So we'll see. This one was much better. This is a console, and it's made in Czechoslovakia. Dude, the foreign typewriters sell really, really well. Recent solds on this one, um, $50 plus shipping. So that should do well, especially since it's in the original case with the manual. This is a Corning stovetop coffee pot. Should be able to sell that for about 30 bucks. Got it for five. Cubic has kind of a long tail rank on Amazon, but um, lowest merchant fulfilled used is uh, $39 right now. I paid $250 and there's no FBA, so that should do pretty well. Got a fry right. Look at the way they spell it. F R Y R Y T E. I just love the vintage brand names like that. Fry right deep fryer. Um, this one again doesn't sell for a lot, but I only got it for five, so it should do pretty well. Speaking of vintage, look at this logo and the beautiful gold color and the Art Deco. I just love some of the old vintage designs on these things. Um, paid four dollars for this. Recent sold of a very similar model, Fasco, fifty dollars plus shipping. Yay. Jeff. Hank's Craft Vaporizer. Wow, that seems kind of gross. People would really buy a vaporizer. Yes, actually I have sold a Hank's Craft Vaporizer before. So um, watch for those vintage brands that you recognize. Um, speaking of recognize, I've, I've sold these irons pretty frequently. I watch for the ones with the cloth cords. Um, they don't sell for a whole lot of money. You know, $15, maybe uh, 20 at the most. But again, I only paid 3 so it should do pretty well. This is a digital to analog converter, yes, these are still selling. I don't understand why, maybe just for old people. But pay $20 for this. This is brand new in package. Um, decent rank on Amazon. There's only one offer on Amazon right now. It's used and it's going for $79. Again, mine is brand new, yay. Digital answering system. This is not new, even though it's in the box. I opened it up, but it is really clean. Only paid $2.50 for it. Should be able to sell it for about $30, again, on Amazon. Shoebox recorders. Um, this doesn't go for, this particular model doesn't go for a crap ton of money either, but I only paid $2.50. Should be able to sell it for about $15. Clock radios. I always look for these vintage clock radios, especially with the wood grain. I sell these all the time for $15 to $20, some of them $30, $35. Bucks. Just depends on the model. This is a smaller one with not a whole bunch of features, so this will probably be more in the $15 range and only paid three. Now, you guys hear me talk a lot about relationship. You know that's my favorite word. And since I go to a lot of estate sales in my area, there are several of the estate sale companies that know me when I walk in. And this one is no exception. This is a lady that I go to her sales all the time. She always has really good stuff. We have a good time chatting. Um, she gives me some good breaks. And that is the lie that I told you because it was 50% day, but because I had developed a relationship with this lady, when she rang things up, she didn't give me 50% off. She gave me two-thirds off. So, my stuff came to like $105, which at 50% should have been 50 some $52.50, but instead I paid $35 for all of this stuff. And you heard me say, this one right here will sell for at least $70, so I've doubled my money right there, and everything else is gravy. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. Tell me what you are finding in your sourcing and how you are developing a relationship.